Okay, so right now I want to test out the functionality of the uh, Red Hat here. Uh, so I'm comparing it to another setup here, which is this is a CSB1 uh, with a little screen. It's connected to uh, the computer through USB-C. I'm running here the EX uh, Web Throttle. So, um, and on the phone I'm running, I'm connecting to the locomotive. If I go here... I see there's the, it's connected, DCCX CSP1. Settings, track power. See here it's in red and there it's in red. If I turn it, track power on, you can see a little light, yellow light comes on over there. And also over there. So it's communicating both through the Wi-Fi connection and through the uh, USB-C. If I go to the throttle, and I move the locomotive and down. You'll even see it over here, it's moving up, down, change direction. I can use the mouse. Uh, let me see, change direction. There it goes. And turn it off, track power off. And then you can see the little yellow LED over there also goes off. So uh, that's working there. But now when I try using the uh, this other guy, uh, let me see. The other thing I wanted to point out is like you can see here, the little blue light comes on because the track power is coming to the uh, to this uh, red hat. So it tells me that uh, there's a, a DCC signal because this uh, plug is going to be, this RJ12 is going to be for uh, when you plug in a booster. So when it's running, track power is on, the blue light comes on, tells you that there's uh, the RailSync uh, uh, pin one and six. So there's that. See if I turn it power again, here's on, if I turn it off. Oop, turn off the fly. There it goes out the LED. Okay, and then the other the difference here is if you can see on this guy, I ended up putting a diode here uh, to bring the power 12 volts from the uh, um, from the jack, the uh, barrel jack. It comes up to here to the V in, so that that'll power uh, give the 12 volts for the. Um, local net signal which will turn on that um, local net to throttle so let's see let's see if I can one handed I can uh, put the power let's see take the power out of here put it in here and well I won't have to put the track because uh, What's going to happen is it, uh, well, let's just put it anyway, but it's, it's not going to end up working. Let me see now. I have to plug that into this guy. Okay. Sorry for the messy camera work, but that's uh, the way it goes. Okay. So, well, now you can see that there's, uh, see, he's getting power. The screen's turning on. And it's in stop. If I set him to go, uh, you see here the red light will go out. There it comes red. That's because it's stop and go. It turns off. Uh, if I put this guy on viewer, look on that viewer as I give throttle. If you see if it's in focus, I'll show you the messages. See, so that part is working, but what's not working is the uh, the little green LEDs or two yellow LEDs in there. They're not turning on. And if I go to, uh, let's say, my Wi-Fi. Uh, let me see. Ah, yeah, see, he's picking up the Wi-Fi from that guy because that guy is still plugged in. Let me unplug him. Take him out. I don't know how fast this will refresh. 
Yeah, so it goes back. See, so what happens, what's happening now is it's not showing the, uh, let's see, connect this guy. Unable to join the network. See, so I'm not able to join the network. And uh, if I give it some power here. Yeah, see the locomotive's not running. So it ends up disconnecting. Make sure it's on the track. Yeah. So that's what that's uh, that's the problem. The uh, you can tell that uh, this guy's turning on and off. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, on, off. So it is getting power because I I put the diode across there, so he's getting his his twelve volts. But uh, there's a communication problem between the CSB one and the Red Hat. So uh, I'll do. The other thing I wanted to point out is you could tell that there's no D DCC output from here because that blue light is not coming on when I. Uh, and I give it power. Some further testing and see what I come up with. Thanks for watching.